our, our, our Facebook our, our followers and our, our social medias uh, and YouTube. We want to welcome you and let you know we appreciate uh, you following us. Amen. And we just believe in God that God is uh, uh, doing uh, 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 great and awesome things in your life and we, we, we want to stand in agreement with you about that. Amen. I want to encourage you to, to go on our website where you can go to www. Uh, go to uh, the number two uh, cwm.org. Amen. You can go on there and get some literature and, and, and stay more connected with us, more personally connected with us, and uh, find some things out that are uh, that can you know help you build your, your your spiritual relationship with your heavenly Father and, and really get you connected into the kingdom of God where you're flowing uh, on a level that. Uh, uh, you, you see your life being excited about what God is doing for you. Amen. So I want to encourage you to do that. Amen. And I always remember there's a warm seat of welcome here for you at Dominion Life Worship Center. I don't know why you're not here. I'm expecting you here. God is expecting you here. Amen. And some of you are behind, uh, behind your timeline on getting here. So I want to encourage you to, to, to get, get here. Amen. And, 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 and get plugged in. Get into the word of God and get blessed. Amen. So all right. We're going to get ready to get into the word of God. We're going to be talking with you this morning. Continue. To, we're still talking about uh, born again, uh, spirit filled. Uh, disciples of Christ. We're still dealing with that teaching because we understand that that's what uh, God has really want us to focus on and that's what you need, that's what the church needs, and that's what the world needs. Amen. You need to get a good, clear understanding of being born again, spirit-filled, and being a disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. We're going to look at this part of, the, of, uh, of this uh, teaching. We're going to look at how uh, important it is for us to uh, get a good working knowledge and understanding of the Word of God and how it impacts our lives. How the Word of God impacts our lives when we become born again, spirit-filled, and become disciples of Jesus Christ. How valuable uh, the Word is to us. Um, and so we're going to get into it and we're going to see some things here. What the Word says, we're going to give you about at least about, I think, five or six uh, nuggets truths we're going to look at about understanding uh, the importance and, and what to expect from the word. Uh, because a lot of times I think a lot of believers are really a challenge that uh, in their understanding and their knowledge about what to expect from the word. The word is just not, it's going to do more for, more for you than just give you goosebumps. Uh, it's going to really, uh, it's what God, is the catalyst that God's going to use to change your life. Uh, it's what the Holy Spirit is going to work with. The Holy Spirit is going to, can only work with the degree of word or the level of word that you have in you. And, um, and then you got to be willing to obey the word. You got to be more than just a hearer of the word. You got to be more than just a casual hearer. You got to be a person that's committed to obeying the word of God. Amen. Amen. And I want you to get this in your spirit that once you got born again and you got spirit filled and you became a disciple of Jesus Christ. You, your life took on a course that cannot be compared to any other life. You have no other greater, there's no other greater life that you got access to now. This is the great, you, greatness is, is, is destined for you now. Because you're born again, you're spirit filled, and you're a disciple of Jesus Christ. You live in the life you were really ordained from the foundation of the world to live. Because really when you look at that, that's the, it's when, when we're born again, spirit-filled, and when we're disciples of Jesus Christ, we have the potentials of displaying the sons of God, the manifestations of the sons of God. Uh, they don't, really, they're the only one that can do it. You got to be born again, you got to be spirit-filled, and you got to be a disciple of Jesus Christ to be able to... Uh, uh, Allow God to manifest you as a son of God uh, to the world. Amen. So, so we're going to get into the word of God and we're going to really, I want you to really get a, uh, 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 in this teaching, I really want you to really get a good uh, understanding of how important the word of God is to you. And in this teaching, you want to come out of here understanding that you won't let the word of God be something that's light. To you anymore. I mean, uh, of light understanding. It's just, well, if I get it, if I don't, and um, it's all right, you know, and if I get part of it, I get a little bit of it, you know, whatever, that'll do it. Now, I don't want you to have that type of attitude. Amen? Because we're going to show you in Scripture how important that the Word of God is in your life and how it will impact your life. 
You'll never be the same. You'll never be the same. All right, let's, let's get ready. We're going to look at some things here. We're going to look at uh, the Word of God, what it does, this, what you have to always understand, that the Word of God, it always testifies of Christ. And that's something very important to understand, that it testifies of Christ. It testifies of Christ, the Word of God. It's, it's going to always do that. It's going to always bring you into a deeper understanding of who Christ Jesus is. And I want you to understand that word Christ means the anointed one, the Messiah. It's going to bring you into a deeper, more intimate understanding of who Christ really is and how he has impacted your life. He says, we're going to look at uh, uh, John, the fifth chapter and the third, 39th verse. And we're going to read it from the Amplified Version of the Bible first. <laughs> now this, is, this, is, this is going to be some real good meat here for you right here. He says that, uh, uh, now this is Jesus talking, you search and keep uh, on searching and examining the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And yet it is those very scriptures that testify about me. Now, now, now really what he's telling him here is that until you get a revelation of me, the word is going to remain a mystery to you. You're not going to fully understand it. Until you get a revelation of that, that he is this word. And it's talking about him. And this is what he says. And I like to say, he says, it says uh, and, uh, that in them you have eternal life. Now what they were doing, and that's what a lot of people, they want, they want, they want to live forever. They want to have eternal life, but they want to live it outside of no relationship with Jesus Christ. They don't want to follow him. They don't want to follow him. Amen. You must never embrace the word of God without you first getting a, making a commitment that you're going to develop, you're going to let the word of God develop a personal relationship with you and Jesus Christ. Because there's no difference between them. You don't, you want to know more about him than you know about anything. You don't need to know who your angel is. Your angel didn't die for you. He didn't shed his blood for you. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. You want to know who Jesus Christ is? What did he do for you? Because the scripture is testing. You, you have to realize this here. The word of God is not testifying about Michael, the archangel. Whatever, Mike, the, no angels. It's testifying about Jesus Christ. It's revealing Christ in you, the hope of glory. What he did in your life. Christ. Where he, that word Christ means the anointed one. Where he destroyed every yoke and removed every burden off of your life. He, he, that's what he did. He destroyed, your, he destroyed your old life. And removed the burdens off of your old life off of you. Amen. Amen. That you don't look the same. You don't talk the same. You're a new creation now. Because you know, you knew, because you have, you have personal knowledge of the new creation giver. And that's Jesus Christ. He's the new creation giver. This Jesus Christ, he is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the reason why you're born again. He's the reason why you are, 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 are spirit filled. He's the reason why you're a disciple of Christ. He is the reason. And you need to know him. You need to know him. All right, let's look at that same scripture. Now, 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 in this here, now you, you, you're seeing that, that a lot of people, they, you know, you don't say, I'm not going to be that person, not gonna be that, person. that want eternal life, want eternal life. And, don't want, and don't want, don't desire, don't desire. The, eternal the eternal life giver. And that's Jesus Christ. And that's Jesus Christ. You want him, that's who you want. Amen. You want to know about him. You know, you want to know about him. Amen. That's when, the, that's when the word will benefit you better. When you know about him. Because he is the word. Jesus Christ is the word. He is the word. 
All right, let's look at the same, same scripture, and we're going to look at it from the messenger version of the Bible. We're going to see what, what they're saying to us in the messenger version of the Bible. It says, you have your heads in your Bible constantly. Wow, man, they're getting raw here. <laughs> he said, you have your head in your Bibles <laughs> constantly because you think you'll find eternal life. But you miss the forest for all the trees. These scriptures are all about me. The word of God is complete. Everything, Jesus Christ is the center of this Bible. You take him out of it, it's just another book. You take him out of it, just another book. You take him out of your everyday living of life, you just another person living. If he's not the sinner, you got to keep him the sinner. Amen. And he rightly deserves that place. He rightly deserves to be the center of everything in your life. Every decision, you need to base it upon uh, how would Jesus do this here? How would he handle this here? Amen. Amen. Okay. He says here, these scriptures are all about me. Say it's all about Jesus. Jesus. It's all about him. Yes. It's all about Jesus. And there, and, and here I am, standing right before you, and you aren't willing to receive from me the life you say you want. You say you want eternal life, but you don't want me. Yeah, see, a lot of people say they want to get saved, but they don't want to get, they don't want to let go of their old life. They don't, want that. they don't want the Christ to come in and reveal to them that he has destroyed that, that bondage and that chain and them shackles of the old life. He set you free. Amen. So what you want to do, you want to make sure that so you can be more efficient in being born again, spirit filled, and being a disciple of Jesus Christ. You want to make sure that when you study the word of God, you see Jesus Christ in it. If you didn't see Jesus Christ in it, keep on studying until you see him in there because he's in there. He's in the word. He's in the word. It, I'm going to share this with you. You wasted your time if you got into the word of God and you didn't see Jesus in the word. You could have went on and ate you some Twinkies. I went and had you a Big Mac or, or whatever you wanted to do. If you spent time in the Word and you didn't see Jesus Christ in the Word, especially if you didn't see, if you didn't see in the Word that you've been delivered from your past life. If you, if you can't see that in the Word, you wasted your time in the Word. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, from this day forward, Every time, Every time I get into the word, get into the word I'm going to see Jesus. And that's what you need to do. You, uh, you, my Facebook and YouTube friends and followers, you need to, every time you get into the word of God, you don't, don't miss the opportunity because Jesus is right there in that word. You got to search diligently for it. He's there because he's the author and the finisher of the word of God. Everything stands upon him. Amen. So what you want to do, you have to understand. See, because once you get into the word of God and begin to allow the word of God to, fest to testify Christ to you, then you'll be able to testify Christ to the world. Then you'll be able to share Christ to the world. Amen. Then you'll become a, 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 a written epistle uh, uh, read among men. People can see Christ in you. The hope of glory. Amen. They can see him in you. Amen. They saw, they saw Christ in, in the disciples and, 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 and Christ wasn't even there, but they saw him in them. Christ should be seen in you. Amen. Make a decision and I'm going to let my life testify of Christ. From this day forward, my life that I now live in Christ is going to testify of Christ in me. Amen. My life now 
is going to testify that Christ lives on the inside of me. He's living in me right now. Amen. Amen. Let your life be a testimony. And that's, how, and that's how you build that, that testimony, that spirit of testimony up in you is get into the word of God and see Christ in the word. Search the scriptures. Find him in there. Find yourself fellowshipping, fellowshipping with him in the word. Amen. It is true. It is true that he has changed my life forever. He's changed my life forever. Amen. I, I never will forget someone, my pastor shared this with me, say, son, you'll never be the same. You don't fit in the world anymore. You need to come to reality. Once you became born again, spirit filled, and became a disciple of Jesus Christ, you don't fit in the world anymore. Which, you know, what I mean, you don't fit in that doing the same thing you was doing before you got born again, spirit filled. And become a disciple of Jesus Christ. You don't fit in the world. Amen. Amen. You're not a friend of the world. You're not a friend of the world. Amen. Amen. You are a deliverer. God's going to use you. He's going to use the Christ in you to deliver the world. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless God. So we understand that we're going to, uh, the word of God is going to testify Christ, testify of Christ in every area of our lives. Amen. All right. Let's go to the next one. So we're going to testify. Then this is what the word of God, th this is what the word of God is going to do. It's going to search the heart. Oh, yeah. This is a good one here. This is what the word of God is going to do. It's going to search your heart. And, to the, and, that's what you have to, and that's what you must understand, that the word of God is designed to get to the heart level. If it don't get to the heart level, it's not going to profit you any good. And when I say heart, talking about your total whole being, your spirit, the real you inside of you. That's what the word is going for. It's digging deep to get to you. Amen. <laughs> Hebrews, the fourth chapter and the twelfth verse, reading from the New Living Translation version of the Bible, it says, for the word of God is alive and powerful. And that's the first thing you got, to, you got to understand, that the word of God is alive every time you read it. It's alive. Every time you hear it, it's alive. It's alive working for you. Well, Pastor, I can't see it working for you. It's alive working for you. It's alive working for you. Amen. Amen. You just got to get properly connected to it. Because it's working. There's, there's electricity in these plugs here. You just got to get properly connected to it to benefit from it. So you got to get properly connected to the word of God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to show you how to get properly connected. You're already properly connected. You don't know it. Once you got born again, once you got spirit filled, and once you became a disciple of Jesus Christ, you got properly connected. But the devil wants to talk you out of it. Tell you now, you ain't, it ain't working for you. See, you're in a place now where you don't, you, you, you're in a place where uh, what, what's going on in the natural, it doesn't affect you. Because you're living in another dimension. The real you is in another dimension. You in the word of God. That's your hiding place. That's where you meditate at. That's where you, that's where you get your strength from. Amen. You get your strength from meditating in the word of God. You get your strength by allowing the word of God to, 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 to dwell in your heart richly, in your spirit richly. Richly to make a deposit in you till you see yourself new. Amen. For the word of God is alive and it's powerful. It's the most powerful force that exists upon this earth right now today. It's the word of God. 
Nothing more powerful than that. You can put the word of God anywhere and it'll produce. It'll come alive. It'll cause those things to be not as though they were. The word will do it. The word of God is powerful. Amen. Amen. It's, it, 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 it heals the sick. It opens up blinded eyes. Unstopped deaf ears. Restore, lame, restore uh, limbs that are, are torn and broken and, 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 and not even there anymore. The word of God has the power to do that. To restore it back like it, like it never happened. Amen. Well, pastor, I don't see it. That don't mean because you don't see it that it hasn't been done. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The, but, but the person that has experienced it, you can't talk them out of it. That's the reason why this just what you receive, stay steadfast in that. If you receive and you know that you've, you've been born again, you know that you're spirit filled, and you know you're committed to the disciple of Jesus Christ, just stay committed at that. That's no truer than the person that, that the woman that had that issue of blood. That your, your experience is no truer than hers. Amen. You just got to believe. Believe where you at. Be faithful in where you at. Just be faithful in being, being born again, being a disciple of Jesus Christ, being, being born again, being uh, spirit filled and being a disciple of Jesus Christ and you will grow from there. But it's when you mumble, grumble, you vacillate, you in and out, you 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 disrupt your 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 you 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 disrupt God's divine pace of your growth. I said God's divine pace, not yours. Glory, this is good and rich, y'all. It's good to me. He says, for the word of God is, is alive and it's powerful. It's sharper than, than, the, than the sharpest two-edged sword. Cutting between the soul and spirit. Between joint and marrow. It exposes our inter, our innermost thoughts and desires. Your deepest secrets. The, the word of God deals with it. He dealing with what you're thinking with right now. Don't nobody know you're thinking the word of God know what you're thinking right now. He know what I'm thinking right now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he knows. Yes. So it said it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. And look at this here. Yet I always realize this here. The word of God will never, even though it will, it, it will never embarrass you. It never will. It'll never make, it'll never make you uh, feel, condemn, feel condemnation. It never will. It'll convict you. It'll assist you in changing the way you think, but it'll never uh, bring a, cause a spirit of condemnation to come up over you and overtake you. And I'll never tell you you can't come out. I don't care what, I don't care what the devil has got you boxed up in. I don't care what you say. You've been not, you've been not letting nobody know about what you I don't it it doesn't matter. And you really don't have to let them know. <laughs> you go and talk to God about it. He's the problem solver anyway. Amen. You go to him and he'll deal with it. And he won't embarrass you. He won't do it. Amen. And you come to him and, 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 and you, 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 you thrust it at his feet. He'll do you just like that woman that was caught in adultery. He forgave her. Said, well, you're accusers. He said, well, and she said, they're not here. He said, well, I don't accuse you. And he had every right to do it. He could have did it, but he, he understood what, what, what his purpose was. It was to come and set her free. To come and set her free. 
church. Amen. So we understand how, 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 that, how the word of God is, is, is sharper, than, sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. It's cutting between the, between the soul and spirit. And, and that's what you have to understand. These are the two most valuable concerns that God has concerning you. Is your spirit and your soul. That's the most valuable thing. The scripture said, what profit the person if they gain the whole world and lose their own soul? And God is very much in, in concerned about your spirit because he created your spirit in his image and his likeness. Those are the two most things that's most valuable to you. And those are the two most things we don't, we don't give the word attention to. We don't let the word of God get down where it, it registers our spirit and our soul. And those are the two most vital things you have. Those are your greatest treasures. They're your greatest weapons. When you get built up in your spirit and your soul and let the word of God dwell in those areas richly, the enemy won't defeat you. He won't defeat you. He wants to do it. And the only way you can do it, you got to make sure that that word reaches, that reaches your soulish area and it's got to get in your spirit. But first of all, it's got to get in your spirit. And then your spirit transfers it over into your soulish area. Your flesh, your body can't do it. Your body can't do it. All it'll do is just carry on a lot of human reasoning over into your, 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 over into your soul. Logical, a lot of logical thinking. Amen. You got to let the word of God transfer itself over into your spirit and to your soul. Let it make its impact there. Amen. Amen. See, that's where you really, that's where you really, that's the, where you're really more effective at and being born again and being spirit filled and being a disciple of Jesus Christ is in your spirit and in your soul. Because you have to realize it's a, your spirit got, got recreated. That's what happened to you when you, when you got born again, your spirit got recreated. Got reconnected back with God. You got reconnected back with God. Then when you got spirit filled, you got reconnected back with him and then you came up under his authority. When you get spirit filled. People are not spirit filled. It's, they, they have a, they're, they're challenged greatly by, by they're being challenged very greatly about not being able to submit to God. Because the only way you can submit to God, you got to submit to him from your spirit. And you're not, and what, and what, what happened is you got, to tell your, you got to tell your spirit that you got to say to your spirit that I'm in agreement with you. I'm in agreement with you. Amen. I'm in agreement with the word of God. I want to let the word of God deal with my spirit and my soul. Word, word of God ha have free reign over my spirit and my soul. When you do that, the flesh got to die. He's got to die. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. So, all right. So, we got that. We understand that the word of God is going to do what? Search our heart, our spirit, our complete being. It's going to search our spirit and our soul. That's what the word of God is going to do. Amen. All right. Let's go to the next one. It, it illuminates and enlightens us. And that's something you really understand about the word of God. It's going to illuminate you. And it's going to enlighten you. Psalms 19 chapter and 105, reading from the New Living Translation version of the Bible. And I hope you're on, on Facebook and you're on uh, YouTube. I hope you're getting this here, amen. Because you know it, that you're at a place now where your life needs to be illuminated. You, 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 you want to come out of that dry, uh, uh, damaged place you're in right now. You want to you, you get free from uh, uh, walking in, in, in darkness and confusion and just misery. And, and, and just, you, just, you, you want to get free from that place where you're just ready to give up in life. Well, the word of God is ready to bring you out of that place. Grab hold of it. Grab hold of this scripture. Psalms 119 and 105. You grab hold of this here and you'll come out. It says, your word is a lamp to guide my feet. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. The word of God is a lamp to guide you. It's light 
to guide you. It's a lamp. It's a lamp. A lamp is something that you hold. Something that you hold. You got to, you, you've got to be willing to lay hold of the word of God. When it's, it's something like that, it's something personal to you. We got to get to the place where we personally uh, meditate upon the word of God. Where we personally read the word of God. Did it become a light to us? You know, we let it guide us. Amen. It's time out for us to uh, continue living our life in gross darkness, confusion, hoping God, uh, if it's God's will, you need to know that it's God's will for you to come out of that, that, that sin you in, come out of that sickness you in, come out of that poverty you in. It's God's will for you to come out of it. He wants you to be set free. And the word of God is, is, is the power God has given us to be set free from it. So it illuminates. It gives us clarity. Amen. See, you know, if you really, if you really sincere about making changes in your life, when you get some clarity about keep on bumbling and fumbling through in life, uh, if you if you really sincere about it, you allow the Word of God to give you some give you clear direction how to get out of that. The word of God is designed to give you clear direction how to be set free. He says, your word. I'm not, 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 not. See, you, have to, you have to realize this here. You have to realize that this is God's word speaking to you. This is not your human reason, your imagination. This is not some, uh, this is not some uh, mind over matter you're dealing with here. This is God's word. Amen. This ain't. This is more just think positive. Yes. Amen. This is meditating on God's word both day and night. This is more than just having good thoughts about yourself. It's, it goes more deeper than that. Amen. Yes. The word of God. Your word is a lamp to guide me. To guide my feet. To guide my... To, to See, what you want to make a commitment that you're going to let God order your footsteps. You're going in. You're coming out. You're rising up. You're sitting down. Whatever you set your hands to do, whatever you do in life, you're going to go to God and ask God to give you the direction how to do it. Give you the instructions how to do it. If you really, I mean, if you really, if you really serious about wanting to live a, 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 a life that, that's, 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 that's blessed, Amen. And you can never, you can never live a life blessed as, and living outside of God's word. You just can't do it. Don't let nobody fool you. A lot of people saying a lot of stuff, but God only blesses his word. The word of God says he watches over his word to perform. it. He watches over his word to make things good to those that got his word in their heart. That's what he does. All right. So it's going to illuminate, it's going to enlighten us. It's going to illuminate us, it's going to enlighten us. You're going to be enlightened. Amen. You're going to come out of the darkness. Amen. No more dark days. Now the devil can't swindle you no more. He can't lie and deceive you and talk to you and tell you you can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can't believe God. God ain't going to do that for you. You can't get delivered. You can't, you can't, you can't be no millionaire. You can't be you can't be the richest person in your family. Let's go to the next one. Hallelujah. Whoo, glory to God. All right, we're moving right real. Is this is this blessing you this morning? Amen. Glory to God. I know it is. It's, 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 it's blessing me. Make one what the word of God. You have to understand it. Make one wise unto salvation. Make you wise unto salvation. Make you wise unto salvation. Salvation is the greatest thing that happened to you in life. When you got that benefit package of salvation, everything changed in your life. Yes. Salvation talks about restoration, redemption, re reconciliation. Amen. When you talk about salvation, it's more than just you getting saved from hell. You getting saved from, from the devil stomping on your head and kicking you around here in the earth ram right now today. 
You got saved from that. You got redeemed from that. You don't have to listen to his lies. Amen. <laughs> and the devil is not stronger than you. He's only strong as you let him be stronger than you. The devil don't have no power over you. He can't make, the, the devil can't make you cuss. He can't make you steal. You just you have to make up your mind. You got to stop talking to him. Because he's a good con artist. <laughs> Amen. See, he can't, he can't steal, but he gets you to steal. <laughs> he can't do that. So he gets you to do it. Amen. You know what? <laughs> okay. God don't, he told me to, the devil wish he could live your life. You're born again, spirit filled, discipleship life. He wish he could live it. He wish he could. Amen. He wish he could live your good life. He really do. He envies you. If he didn't, why would he try to talk you out of it? Amen. And a good bona fide thief, they don't steal nothing that ain't worth stealing. Now you got, you know, you got someone just, just trifling, but I'm talking about a good, a, a, a professional thief, they still on, they still on high quality stuff. Yeah, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna risk that, they ain't gonna risk being entrapped, put in prison just for some just foolishness. Amen. You got to realize that. That you are God's greatest workmanship, prized possession. You his number one. Ain't nothing better than you than Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't let the devil duke, duke you down and uh, dumb you down about who you are. Great is he that is in you than he that is in the devil. You got to worry about the world. You, you, what's in you? He says, uh, it's, uh, second, second Timothy, the third, the third chapter, the 15th verse, and we're going to stop on this here one. It says, you have been taught by, you have been, you have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood. This is Paul writing to Timothy. He says, this is Paul writing to Timothy. He says, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Christ Jesus. That's where your wisdom come in at. That's where your wisdom come in at. Not just knowing him, but trusting him. Not just knowing him, but trusting him. See, the devil knows Jesus, but he don't trust him. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not going to be like the devil. I'm going to know Jesus and I'm going to trust him. And you that are watching me on Facebook and YouTube, all of our social medias, I want you to get to a place in your life where you're willing to not just know Jesus, not just talk about him, but you come to a place where you're willing to trust him. Because when you come to that place where you're going to rest in trusting him, believe me, beloved, your life is going to be transformed forever and you're going to start seeing the manifestation of God's power operating in your life on a level that's going to, that's going to astonish you. It's going to put you in a place where you'll say, I got, I got to know more about this Jesus. Amen. So we want to encourage you to do that. Amen. We want to encourage you to just put your faith and your trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ in your life. Amen. And right now, all you have to do is just ask Jesus Christ to come into your life and he'll come into your life and he'll change your life forever. And that's all you got to do right there. Just ask Jesus. I want you to come into my life. I surrender to you right now. I repent of my sin. Come into my life and do what you want to do with it. And he's right there right now. Amen. He's for you right now. He's for you right now.
Do it. Don't, don't let the enemy hesitate. Give, put no hesitation in your spirit. Go out on and do it right now. Jesus, I want you to come into my life and do what you want to do in it. I want you to live your life in me. I repent of my sins. I want to give my life to you. I want you to come in and live on the inside of me. He's coming in right now. Just receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And if you've done that, I want you to understand, now that's, that's how you get born again. You get born again by receiving Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior. Giving your life over to him. So you're born again now. Amen. So what I want you to do, I want you to get, get on, go on our website, amen, and, 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 and go to www. C go to www. Uh, go and then the number two cwm.org I want you to go there amen and you can look on there about how to be born again how to get spirit filled and everything and we'll help you and also go call us or uh, you can call us or email us or whatever do. get in contact with us and we'll take you from the next level because you want to experience born again it it, it 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 works best in your life being born again it works best in your life when you've applied that being spirit filled and being a disciple of jesus christ and we're here to help you applying those other two areas of your life uh over to the lord amen so i want to let you know we love you we're expecting god to do great things in your life amen and i always remember there's a warm seat of welcome here for you at dominion life worship center and we we stand in agreement with god with you that you're going to get born again spirit filled and you're going to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah.